Hello everyone, it's your favorite freak. And it's time for another collab. This time, it's a Generation 1 Pokémon collab, hosted by Charlotte's Repaints. I'll talk more about this at the end, so stay tuned. The Pokémon I chose for this is Arcanine. I started this project almost two years ago now. Um, she was my second or third custom, and at that point I obviously didn't have the experience or materials that I do now. I used to use Faber-Castell watercolor pencils, and I know a lot of people use them and get good results, but I can't get them to be very opaque. Maybe I'll try them again later, I don't know. I've never been very good about conceptualizing my characters before I make them into a thing. Uh, I fall in love with my own ideas really fast, and that's great, but when I'm trying to represent a specific character, it doesn't always work in my favor, so she never really looked how I wanted. I've been waiting for an opportunity to retry this for a while now, and now I have a really good reason due to this collab, so yay! Let's get started. So I've already added hair, ears, and a tail, so I have to mask those off. I take off her poorly executed face up and I get started on a new one. Now, usually my style is a little bit more realistic, but obviously that's not gonna work, chief. So it's gotta be a bit more anime this time around. I start by adding more neutral blushing and I give her triangular shaped eyes. I fill in the whole area with white, and then I start on adding the iris. The original illustration of Arcanine, the eyes are all black with just a single highlight, so originally I tried to make her eyes brown. But no, past me, that's not a good idea, because first of all, that's not going to contrast well with her skin tone. Secondly, this is a fire-type Pokémon. Make the eyes red and yellow! You idiot! So that's what I did. I made them red and yellow, because fire type. No. Don't put a blue skirt on a fire type. I don't care if there's a red outline on said blue skirt. It's a bad idea. Just don't do it. Stop! So I tried to give her more natural colored eyebrows, but they just didn't look right. So I did something rather extreme, and I made them that cool, harsh stripe pattern, and then I liked them a ton more after that. I gave her some little teeth, painted directly onto her face. I brightened up her highlights with acrylic paint, and I glossed her eyes and lips, and with that, her face up is done. I unwrap her from her burrito form and restyle her hair. I did three French braids and made the one on the top of her cranium quite a bit more poofy and then united all three of the ends in the back. And the back kind of looks like a mullet, but you know what? I think it works. I like it. So for her outfit, I wanted something fluffy, but edgy at the same time, because you know, I found this spiny crop top from Venus Flytrap, and I painted it that weird brownish, orangish color that's really, really hard to mix up with paint, by the way, um, and painted on black borders as well. I made this sort of floppy, flappy skirt thing, and it, it just it just didn't work out. I kept trying to make it work, but no. It was a bad idea. I gave her some fluffy cuffs around her joints, but then on a whim, I glued the fuzz directly on the joints of her knees, and I liked that much better, so I did that on the rest of the joints as well. For her shoes, I used a pair from Venus Flytrap again. I painted them again, that weird orange color, and brought out the details with black.
and then I glued fluff on the inside of the shoes. Because I wanted to. And you can't stop me. Because I am a force of nature. For some added fluff, I've had this little jacket for forever. I painted it a yellow-orange color, and then I changed the fluff from white to yellow with soft pastels. For her pants, I found these gold capris and painted cool stripes on them. And with that, she's done. It's been a long road, but she's finally done, and I'm glad I took the time to revamp her. Now, more info on the collab. The deadline for these to be done is the end of October, so naturally not everyone is done with their projects yet. But I need to move on because I have other deadlines, so I wasn't able to feature everyone like I wanted. But if you want to see more of the collab as the month progresses, be sure to follow the Gen 1 Pokemon collab hashtag on Instagram. I have the social media links to all of the very talented people that I have featured in the description. There are so many talented artists involved, and I'm sorry I couldn't feature everyone. Well, that does it for this video. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and remember that you are loved and cared for, and be sure to love yourselves. Bye! Hey, hey you, yeah you, look at those nipples. This is what I think of your child safe policies, YouTube. Go die in a hole. Actually, I'm planning on making a video on that subject soon. Look out for that, please. Okay, bye.